Okay, this is very cool. We are looking at a list of all English words that are pure threes and then end in a single plus one letter to glorify Father's name at the very last second. And that is, this is what God ordained in the word Lord, okay? And a host, while well, I'm staring at them, of famous English words that, um, you know, God saves the best for last, Father always takes the last word. In these cases, Father takes the last letter. It is so cool and very awesome. So, very satisfyingly. So, um, there's so much in this list, but what I've done, satisfyingly, is I've sorted this list by total. And uh, so, like, the longest words with the highest value are now at the top. So, guess what? The And it's, it's, it's so amazing. Like, the sovereignty of God. Okay? So, luxurious... Uh, together with the word colorfully. Luxurious is the highest value English word that is a pure string of letters that divide by three, ending in a single letter that is plus one. That is to say, when you divide the letter by three, the remainder is one. Okay? That points to father. Okay? We've talked about that before. Um, and so the word luxurious, and of course the word luxury does the same thing. Um, so heaven is the most luxurious place in the entire eternity of all that human souls ever will experience, okay? And of course, heaven is forever and ever with the Holy Trinity, um, you know? But um, God the Father is the king of luxury in your life today, okay? And it's your health, first and foremost. It's your total health, okay? Um, it's like you don't need any clutter all around you, you need health in your body. So luxurious provision for the body, okay, is the way the father works for his children. Like you will always have more than enough for your best health, for your physical health, your body's health that belongs to the father and he lives inside of you. And so he's very luxurious towards the body, okay. So, um, so there it is. So luxurious is the top word. And that is a total of eight letters that divide by three in front of the final S. Okay. So the next one on the list is colorfully. That has even more letters. That has ten letters that divide by three before the final Y. Colorfully. The word colors does the same thing. Um, color is joy. I mean, heaven is loaded with so many colors based on testimonies. Okay, fine. This is a fun one. Uxorious means someone who um, uh, really is in love with their wife and treats them with incredible attention and care. That you are an uxorious person. The word uxor, I believe, is the Latin word for wife. But God is sovereign over words. And you say, this is so high on the list. So what does this tell you about God? Well, husband equals Jehovah. Jehovah is your spiritual husband. And Jehovah is the most uxorious person in the universe. What does the word uxorious mean? Well, I just said what it means. It says having or showing an excessive fondness for one's wife. Well, we as the believers in Christ are the bride of Jehovah God. Jehovah equals husband. Uxorious is, belongs to him. And uh, it, sounds very much like, it sounds very much like luxurious, doesn't it? In fact... Um, they sh like pretty much just what everything is the same, just a little a few letters. Axorius. So it comes from. So the Latin word is um, axoriosis, um, but it comes from the Latin word axor, which means wife. That is insane to me. Looking at these letters mathematically, because axor is pure threes that differ by three. You got a, a twenty-one, a twenty-four, an eighteen, and a fifteen. Because God is three persons. But you see how passionate God is about love. And God is love. And you're just like, okay, so I am the spiritual wife of Jehovah God. God is uxorious towards me. God is nuts about me. God owns my body. That means God is nuts about this body. That means God is going to provide the best food on planet Earth for this body. And then you have to go, then you have to daily get it. You have to daily claim it and say, no, this is my inheritance. Um, Exorius. Okay. Curriculum is next. We talked about that. What, which people learn. Huge. 
This is a new one. Oh yeah, yeah. So you always bring discernment with you in all this because. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> the next one on the list is Fru Fru's. Fru Fru. Fru Fru. Fru Fru. It's in the dictionary. Fru Fru. Fru Fru. One more time. That was delicious. Fru Fru. Fru Fru. Fru Fru. Sounds great. Um, frills or other ornamentation, particularly of a woman's clothes. So again, it sounds like extravagance, doesn't it? It sounds like, you know, the whole um, more than enough concept. Fru-fru. And then fru-frus, plural. See, God is more than enough. Fru-frus. So, <laughs> it's like fru-frus. Do we even have women that wear dresses with fru-frus anymore? It's like, like, man, everything's like skimping on material. It's like, no. Seriously, if you actually back the truck up and real, anyways, are we like do do women even wear dresses with frou frous anymore? It's like everything, like your wedding dress. A classic wedding dress is full of frou frous. It's just full of these gorgeous undulations and these waves of fabric. Those are frou frous. Now it's like everyone's just tight as bone. You're like this is unbelievable, but frou frous is the way. Fru-frus are here, yeah. So, fru-frus. Basically, it's an excess of fabric, a generous excess of fabric that makes waves coming off of your clothing. There you go. Fru-frus, to the glory of God the Father. You gotta love the fun words. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Um, and it's easy to R-U-S as Father, and just fru-frus. Amazingly, what's left over is 81, which equals the sun. So, fru frus, you can easily find father plus the sun. Um, think of a wedding dress. Like, that's the classic. Um, a wedding dress is literally full of fru frus. Like, it's just wave after wave of gorgeous white fabric in this giant train behind the lady. That's what you call classy abundant, more than enough fashion. You know, are we in poverty here that women are wearing less and less fabric? Like, what is this? Some kind of poor house? We need to get some frou-frous back on our dresses. Like, what is what is going on here? Are, are we cheap? Do we not have, like, seriously, you almost have to chide this kind of behavior. It's like, come on, spend some money on the fabric. Make the dress full of an upset. Okay. Um, now that is a wedding dress with a lot of frou-frous. Pretty awesome. I love the sovereignty of God over um, fun words like this. All right. Cool. Um, very cool. So I'm curious now. That's really cool because fru. Um, Pure threes adds to 60, which equals holy equals pure. And once you understand that and you start thinking about a wedding dress, it's white. Fru equals holy equals pure equals word. It even contains, as I stare at this F-R-O-U, the word pure is screaming out at me. Because you have the U and the R, and then the P and the E differ from a single point up and down from the F and O. So as I look at the word fru-fru, I'm really seeing pure, pure, okay? So a frou-frou white dress, that is glorious. That is classic. That is, as I speak, there's weddings all over the universe happening in this fashion. Okay, it's all for the glory of God. So 60-60, frou-frou, pure, pure, holy, holy, word, word, an upset. That is stunning. What's nice about that is then the repetition, you go to the center and you have 60 to the center. You gotta document this, man. Fru fru. Pure, pure. If you wanna change the world, you have to change people's words. Words control everything. Okay. You wanna change fashion? You gotta start promoting words that describe real fashion. You wanna change education? 
you got to start promoting words that education should be talking about. Jesus, Christ, God, Trinity, Father, Gematria equals great I am equals Jesus. Gematria equals great I am using the same letters. You can't tell me you're educated unless you know that. And it's like, there you go, frou-frou. This, that's amazing. Um, frou-frous. And it's a fun one. Don't you love the fun ones? One more time. Frou-frou. 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 You're just like, okay, I'm loving it. Okay. So curricular, all right, that's high up there. Luxury is high up there. Um, wait a second. I'm doing two lists at once. That's cool. So I want to start with the list ends and plus ones, which is fruit, fruits, curriculum, luxury, flocculus. This is from anatomy. Part of the brain is the flocculus. Amazingly, that equals love, father, the greatest commandment. Wouldn't be surprised that if scientists start zeroing in on this flocculus and actually um, reveal to all of us what it's responsible for in the human body, it would probably um, glorify, like, I'm guessing flocculus is like the command center of a heck of a lot, just like Father um, is the top member of the Trinity. I mean, I can take a few moments on Wikipedia under flocculus to see if there's an article. Yes, there is. The flocculus. It's Latin for tuft of wool. Aha, uh -huh, like a flock of goats. Okay. What does it do? It's involved in motor control. It is an essential part of the vestibulo-ocular reflex and aids in the learning of basic motor skills in the brain. It regulates balance. That's pretty amazing. Because the word stand, remember the word stand equals father. The word sit equals son. Okay, father is above. Stand, father. Sit, son. And so the flocculus regulates balance. It's the flocculus that allows a human being to stand up without falling over. And they also help control eye movement. So, like I said, it's, it's like a headquarter of command. This flocculus in your brain is a critical computer, like a, the, the headquarters of critical commands for your functionality. And so to no surprise, flocculus is screaming out father mathematically. Ooh, for it's the vestibular ocular reflex eye movement. Okay, you go deep in this brain stuff, you'll never come out. <laughs> okay. So the flocculus, let's just peg it high level motor control. Okay, so what else is on our list here? Furious, okay. God the Father, Furly, Curricula, Cruciform, Curious, Cirrus, Colors, Officious. I love words like this. The Father fulfills furs. Fold. Fold. Fourfold, we say. Yeah, so the father. Fulcrum is at the center. Father. Oculus. Again, the eye. Lowry. Okay. 
and you can go on through the list. Um, but I was most interested at the first at the outset in in what the highest value English words are that um, are pure threes with a single plus one, and luxurious is at the very top. So God the Father, if you think I don't care who you think about, is luxurious out there that it, they are pathetic compared to how luxurious God the Father is. If there is anything that you need, God the Father has it for you. Period. <laughs> it's like, you want it? We got it, says God the Father. So, God the Father is luxurious. That is a stunning set of letters. 102 left over. And I like that other find. Uxurious is describes someone who is um, extremely uh, loving and attentive towards their wife. Uxurious. Let's get a pronunciation on that. Because that is God. Like, that is the definition of God the Father. Uxorious. 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 Uxor means wife in Latin. Uxorious. Uxorious. I can say with confidence. God the Father is uxorious towards me, towards his children, towards all people. Uxorious. Okay. Uxorious. Uxorious. Okay. It is stunning. <laughs> people say, oh, who will love me to the end? I'm like, God. <laughs> Who will love me the way I've always dreamed of being loved? God. <laughs> God, more than anyone, is uxorious. I love it. God is luxurious and God is uxorious. Luxurious and uxorious. Now you see how powerful this is. If every human being was filled with the Spirit of God, we would actually treat each other in this way. And it's like a snowball effect. The more people are doing it, the easier it is for everyone to do. Because it's like, you know, people have peer pressure problems and stuff like that. But when you see it, enough said, okay. And I liked the frou-frou one. That was, ay caramba. I, I really like, um, so I might, I might, uh, stay on these words that are talking about abundance. Because odorful, whew, that's abundant. Um, that equals love, Father. Now I'm also looking at a list that has pure threes with a single plus one, not necessarily at the end, but anywhere in the word. Okay, but I'm I'm really interested in the, the the words related to abundance. You know, I might open the thesaurus on words related to abundance. Um, abundant Christ abundance. But I think that's pretty good for now. Luxurious, luxurious, frou frous. That was hilarious. It's helpful to, um, I, I like to dig into the roots of this. Where does the word luxurious come from? Well, comes. This is amazing how every one of these words is, is the same design mathematically, even though they're different. The original Latin word is luxuria. Whew, that's good. The A at the end is plus one, and everything is threes. Whether you say luxuria, luxurios, which is the old French, and then now we say luxurious, it's all God, it's sovereign in history. So you have this multiple evidence base. It's adding up to this. It's all the same math, though. The math is perfect to always give that final letter to Father. Luxuria. Luxurios. 
Luxuria Sears Slack. Oh yeah, he's just increasing the value through history. That's exactly what's going on. From the Latin to the old French to the modern English. Love much business. So yeah, that that is inc that is an incredible word history to just add more stuff to the party. Like the 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 progress of the word luxury is mathematically a pearl necklace for the glory of the Father. You have got to see the love of God in all of history. Like how much have people enjoyed in their lifetimes, century over century, many without ever thanking God, and he just doesn't get enough of giving to people. Isn't that amazing? God is so giving that even though we never give him thanks half the time, he and upset. So luxuria, oh man, I mean someone needs to open open your house and start using that word. Open a hotel, I don't care. Luxuria, that's a father-son combo. The original Latin, so it's father plus son and so we can use the computer to reveal instantly all the different ways that you can split that word into 5848 which is father-son, so there's exactly two ways. Both ways, father is L U X A, son is U R I. Luxa. Father, son, luxuria. Now, if you think anything on earth has been good, it's all about heaven. We know that. Okay, this 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 whole world is as a playground, is as a actually this is very much a battleground, really. But when we get to heaven, it's going to be unending, limitless luxuria. So I'm, he I'm and I'm here to declare that these words will exist in this perfect spelling in heaven. Okay, so luxuria, luxurios, luxurious. It increased in value over the over the centuries. Ba way back in the days of the Romans, they were saying luxuria, or maybe in the you know third or fourth century, I don't know, and then it became luxurios which is higher in value, and then it became ultimately luxurious. It added the U. So it just kept going up in value, pushing that plus one down the line. Then it went up to 139, and ultimately it's at 160 luxurious. It's a pure pearl necklace of threes. It's been getting longer through history. Isn't that amazing? Luxurious. You're just like, lay it on us, Lord. Okay. It's... <laughs> You just like people. We need to get happy, and we need to get educated. Talk to me. Luxurious. Thank you. Um, no, I'm serious. One more time. Luxurious. We need this for every single person in this country. Worshiping Jesus, singing their heads off, take it to the nations. Okay. Um, <clears throat> there's a host of synonyms that parallel father, like opulent is flawless for father. Okay. But, uh, um, so that's what it comes from. Luxuria, okay. Okay, so that history did not disappoint. Um, I could go through synonyms and scoop up more father stuff, but, uh, I, I want to stick with the, the current list for now. Um, and <laughs> posh. That's hilarious. Posh equals father. Okay, now we have to be careful. Okay, it's not external possessions. That is not what we're talking about. We're talking about the, the blessings of God for your health, um, for your spiritual, emotional health, your, your physical health, your spiritual happiness, the joy of the Lord, the fruits of the Spirit. That's the kind of luxury we're talking about. Like That's the kind of happy abundance that we're talking about. Okay, The, the happiness and the abundance and the, the um, opulence inside of you okay god living in you like there's nothing more that you need you don't care if you're in a prison cell the apostles were singing their heads off in prison because they had 
richness inside of them. That's God, okay? So, be, beware of preachers out there that are focusing too much on, you know, material things. But let's not kid ourselves. Uh, God is able. Okay, so... The word posh is actually flawless for Father. Dead center. Alright, there's a host of words you can dig into there. Mm. Okay, that was cool. I love the wife loving one. Uxorious. That is a tear jerking set of letters. Uxorious. Uxor equals wife. And. My goodness. It's just. You, you go 15, 18, 21, 24. Perfect threes. And then the next three letters that divide by three in EOS go up in sixes perfectly. 9, 15, 21. Like, this is a mathematician's, like, paradise. Like, at any age level, you're in paradise looking at these sequences just going up in beautiful threes for the Trinity. You're just like, God is, now God is equals love, God is exorious. That means he is nuts about his wife. Well, you are his wife, because Jehovah equals husband. Um... Say, God is exorious. I bet you, you didn't even hear this word until now. I'm exorious. Now, if you start praising the Lord like this all the time, that's good. Exorious. God is exorious. God is exorious. Exorious. He's nuts. He's madly in love with his wife, who is us, the believers in Christ. Exorious. I'm loving it. And the math is... Ooh. And it, things just get screamingly hot on this one. The U, the R, and the S. Father in this trifor. Basically, God is mind-blowingly wealthy in everything that you could possibly ever desire. And I'm referring first and foremost to spiritual riches. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. And... Of course, everything that your body needs. Great food, healthy food. We can go on, but God is greater than all that we think. Exorious. Flawless. It's a very high-ranking word on this list. Very high-ranking. Luxurious. Curriculum right up there. I'm loving it. God is more than enough. Luxurious. God is luxurious and God is exorious. Um, you almost don't want to leave this zone. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, maybe I'll just take a few synonyms on all this. Let's just, just scoop up a few synonyms here that just... You know, if everyone on Earth was doing this... Okay, so synonyms for luxurious that would describe the Father. Um, opulent is easy. I could slow down and do a lot um, I'm just going through all this. Extravagant. That's a very famous one. Very important. Fancy is a simple one. You know, come on, people. Like... Upscale equals Christ. Ooh, five star. The word star equals father, so that's very important to mention. Okay, five star, four star, five star, six star. Star equals father. 
And so five, st <laughs> you're just like, come on, people. It's all about, like, of course, everyone's saved. If everyone's excellent, yada, yada, yada. You know, we're not to love this world. Um, okay, there's a lot to be preached on here, but. Classy. That's a great word for father. Because class equals love. Um, and then the Y turns it into a beautiful, beautiful, classy, ritzy, swank. Um, Let's take a quick peek. Extravagant. Mm. I almost feel like I gotta. Yeah, there's lots of. All right, well, maybe I'll add these words to our growing list here. Um, so, for example, there are famous titles of God that equal extravagant in full. That's cool that extravagant equals everything, sharing a lot of same words. Um, Okay. Yeah, it's pretty good. Hmm. Extravagant. See a lot of, I see like some beautiful um, life, life in the center of that, those two T's, extravagant. The more you look, the more you see. Honestly, the, the tightest word on this list that equals father, bang on the nose, is the word posh. <laughs> That's great. That's perfect. It's perfect. Um, what's the running definition of posh? Kind of high class, basically. It's fascinating. Ooh, so I'm digging into this word sumptuous. Sixty nine ninety six. Sump shua. Sump equals um Jehovah. Gorgeous set of letters. So sump equals Jehovah, then the T O S and a trifork equals love with the two U's, spicing it up, bumping it up. 
I'll bet you that's a very high. Um... I always go to the center of words. Ooh, that's cool. So the most one of the most glaring things about sumptuous is it starts and ends with S U or S U U S, which is a very famous title of God, us. The Trinity. Let us make man in God's image. Literally you have this triple father parallelism in this word sumptuous. The S U, the U S, and then the dead center, which is Father plus twenty seven. Sumptuous. Sumptuous. But feel it on your lips. Sumptuous. First it's the sum, which equals Jehovah, then it's the Chua. Sumptuous. It's screaming out love. It's screaming out the values of love. Just screaming it out. Um, now I'm going to search for Holy Ghost on this one. Oh, of course, sum equals ghost. Yeah. This one is really screaming out holy and ghost. You find all the holy goes sumptuous. Sumptuous. <laughs> Just irresistible to dig into these suckers. Sumptuous. A sumptuous meal. Um, yeah, I'm seeing the, uh, the SU, the US. Hilarious. Okay. Um, the more you look, the more you see. Um, Deluxe. Nah, that's not hard. Mm. Let's dig into the word extravagant. Um, is a very famous word. Okay, I think I'm pretty good there. Okay, I'm pretty good there.